Hey, what is up, you guys? We are on the eastern flank of the Cascade Mountains. We're gonna do a little camping, try and find some morel mushrooms, and then hunt down a trout that I've never shown on this channel before. But first, let's make a cup of coffee, have some lunch, and just enjoy this view. Absolutely incredible spot you guys that was amazing I had some lunch I got my coffee cup filled up let's hit the road lose some elevation and see if we can't get into some morels all right I made it to the first spot that I'm gonna try here slightly discouraged because just about four miles down the road is a uh, a big camp of professional pickers there are like eight of these elaborate tarp structures dotted throughout here also it's a little late in the year but i think with the cool season we've been having also we're at 4600 feet and it's only about 55 degrees out let's give this spot a try you can kind of see what i'm working with it's an old burn plenty of pine duff on the ground and some fresh greenery so let's take a walk around and see if we can't dig up some morels. Holy cow, I made it about five feet before finding some morels. I think being on this super steep terrain uh, in high elevation is really helping me, but uh, behind me right here is a freaking field of morels. I don't know if you can tell from the camera there, but I'll show you guys. There's so many. Each one of these little things is a morel. They kind of just look like pine cones, but they just go on forever. This is the craziest morel score I've ever found. It's just a field of them. Look at all of them. Oh my God. I am naming this Morel Rock. If you guys ever stumble upon this rock in late, late spring, you're in a field of morels. Good luck. Wow, you guys, what an absolutely unbelievable area. I just can't believe the sheer number of morels here. I genuinely hope that that camp of commercial pickers does not find this place. Um, I always try and practice and preach responsible harvest, whether it's mushroom hunting or fishing, there's no need to take more than you need. I just got a small bag, which is uh, all I need to cook up for tonight. I encourage you to do the same. Now, with that being said, I'm off my soapbox. Let's lose a couple thousand feet of elevation, drive a bunch of miles down this road, and go see if we can't find that fish I've been talking about. Okay, just one more, you guys. Look at this, look at this thing. Look at this freaking thing. <laughs> it's as big as my fist. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. That is an absolute monster. I'm not gonna take it. It's pretty old and crusted out, but okay. Okay, let's go find a fish. There's a fish. What? Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> Look what I just caught. It is a mother frickin' bass. What's up, buddy? Yeah, I'm not after you today. Oh, get a bobber. Bobber down. Bobber down. Bobber down. Bobber down. And, oh, we're on. We're on. Oh, oh yes, oh, that feels like an okay fish. Let's see what we got, 
Let's see what we got. Oh, you, you bastard. We have got ourselves a little bluegill. Is that a, what do they call a black-eared bluegill or something? Beautiful little fish. Let's see, if we get desperate later, we might keep one of these. But for now, we're after something else. Later, bud. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh, there's another, there's another fish. What do we got here? No. What are you doing with your life, buddy? Another bass. Oh, oh, bobber down, bobber down. Crap, I got a line caught in a tree. Hopefully it's the fish we're after. Oh no, no, it's another dumb bluegill. Oh, oh, yeah, finally. Oh, please be what I'm after. Please. I've been fishing for like three hours. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got here? Oh, that might be it. That might be it. I can't quite see it yet. Don't be a dumb bass. Please don't be a dumb bass. Let's get the net. Oh geez, almost fell in the water. Let's see if we can get this guy in the oh it is! It is! Yes! Yes! Oh yes! Oh my god, I'm so excited right now. Look at this gorgeous fish. Finally, you guys caught the fish that I'm after. This is a uh, tiger trout. What a absolutely beautiful fish. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I don't think I've ever had one of these on the channel before. Ugh, look at that thing. <sighs> I've already driven quite a ways out this old four service road looking for some dispersed camping sites. Uh, I thought I might camp here, but I think there's some toilet paper in the, in the fire pit. So let's, let's keep heading up the road and uh, we'll find somewhere to camp. All right, home for the night. Look at that creek is like almost flooding. But we got a picnic table, which is rare in dispersed campsites. That's nice for cooking. But the real test is, all right, no toilet paper in the fire pit. Mushrooms, mushrooms with flour and garlic salt. Mushrooms with flour and garlic salt and hot oil. I definitely got impatient and put too many mushrooms in there. All right, I feel like I gotta clarify something. Um, I am not like innately terrified of toilet paper and fire pits. <laughs> I just, I often cook over the fire and uh, you know, I guess I don't want burnt poop on my food. So there's that. Quit raining on my parade. Yeah. Why? Why now? Smoke's blowing at me, it's raining. It's a rough life, you guys. Oh, it's raining so hard. I'm getting soaked. Oh man, those are looking fantastic. It's freaking pouring all of a sudden. Uh, I might have to run and hide or something, I don't know. Uh, anyway, I got a big, beautiful plate full of golden brown morels. Oh, you guys, that is just, crispy beautifulness right there. Probably pretty hot. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, deep fry everything. Holy cow, you guys. Um, yeah, it's, it's not letting up. I kind of thought it would just pass over, but I think I'm gonna have to take all my crap and put it back in the car. Everything's getting soaked. Gotta go. Well, 
That was like a uh, <laughs> was like a flash flood, except from the sky. Look at this. All of my crap back here is just just in a fat pile, all soaking wet. Uh, what to do, what to do. I've been sitting in the car almost an hour now and the rain's just not letting up. All right, well, after much uh, deliberation and consideration and possibly even some hallucination, uh, I have decided to pull the plug. I just wasn't prepared for like a continuous downpour, uh, which is really messed up because when I was a kid, I was a Boy Scout and the whole motto of the Boy Scouts is be prepared. Uh, I think I'm going to get my, my Weebelow badge revoked or something. I guess you'll just have to believe me when I say I had a super uh, awesome dinner planned up for that fish, but I, I'll cook that up when I get home tonight at like 11.30. Anyway, it was still a super fun day despite the ending, so thanks for watching you guys. We'll catch you on the next one.